kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived that you may know by the name of Annabelle E. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to be loved and to be loved by me. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child, and she was a child, in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabel Lee with a love that the winged seraphs above coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in the kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me, to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide, I lay down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life, and my bride. In the sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb, by the sounding sea. <laughs>